So that was a um, that was a, a strong point of contention in the debate that you had. And and the reason I'm focusing on that debate so much, uh, I originally wanted to talk to you just about your article. But when I watched the debate, I realized that it, it really was a um, kind of a microcosm of all of the conversations that are going on in progressives and, and liberal and generally right. left leaning circles, which is we disagree vehemently with Hillary Clinton, but we can't allow Donald Trump to get in. But what do we, you know, how do we resolve that tension? There's a, you know, and, and quite honestly, I'm struggling with it myself because, you know, it, it's quite easy. It's, it's, it's much preferred for me to critique Hillary Clinton because I think it's a substantive conversation to be had versus looking at Donald Trump, who is r rather buffoonish. And I mean, what are we going to say about Donald Trump, that he's a madman? Well, yeah, but, you know, there's not really a, a substantive critique that you can give of him. Um, and so it's kind of a, a balancing act because there's these absolutes that people buy into that if I critique uh, Hillary Clinton, that means I'm supporting Donald Trump. If I critique Donald Trump, that means I'm supporting Hillary Clinton. And what you're saying is really a rejection of all of that. And you're saying that, no, we don't want Hil uh, Donald Trump. That doesn't mean we want Hillary Clinton, but we will suffer it to be so with Hillary Clinton um, so long as we're organizing properly to ensure that we can hold her accountable in a way that we were not able to hold Barack Obama accountable. Right. So, I mean, look, I mean, some of us will some of us will throw our support behind Jill Stein mm -hmm. uh, and do the work. And we understand that that is a short term and long short. It's a short term decision and has long term implications for 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 growing and, and developing the Green Party and particularly growing and developing the Green Party around issues of race and racial policy. Mm. Uh, some of us will do that work. Uh, some of us will will will, will organize. Uh, around our local local uh, issues, right? I always think about the example of what uh, that that constellation of organizers in Chicago and throughout Illinois, what they were doing uh, during the Democratic primary. They did not give much attention to who was going to be elected yeah. or selected, whether it was Bernie Sanders or or Hillary Clinton. They were focused on getting rid of that district attorney, mm -hmm. and they organized and they did it and they succeeded. The same thing happened in Cleveland. So part of what, we, what I'm trying to do, Brother Ben, is to get us to see that democratic work, that the work of democracy extends beyond election cycles. Mm -hmm. That in, when you think about voting, voting is just one thing to do in a constellation of things to do when we talk about being active in a democratic society. And so part of democratic politics involves, at least in my view, right, that grunt work, that grinding work at, at the local level that we need to be doing uh, in relation to, to school closings, in mm -hmm. relation to, 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 to voting procedures, in relation uh, to, to, to uh, placements of folk who are coming out of, uh, out, out of, out of prison, to, 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 to changing predatory policing policy. I mean, these things that impact our community directly in terms of jobs and the like, right? Mm -hmm. And so we need to be mobilizing around that and understanding that Whoever's in the White House will play a role, but, but, but what we're doing at the local and, and county and state levels is just as important. So, so, part, so part of what I'm trying to suggest is that we got to change the center of gravity of, of black politics in this country. That's the first thing. And two, we have to reject what I take to be one of the more insidious dimensions of neoliberalism, and that is to, to limit our political imaginations, to make us believe that our only choice that our only choices are those choices right in front of us, mm -hmm. right? And that's what these people who are kind of coming down upon progressives who are skeptical and critical of Hillary Clinton, saying that we're electing Donald Trump, whenever they say that, they're, trying, they're conceding to the terms, I believe, uh, of, 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 of a certain kind of economic and political philosophy or rationality that leads us to believe that our only choices, our only options, of those that are right in front of us. And I think we have to be much bolder. Mm -hmm. We have to be much more radical in how we approach this thing. Otherwise, nothing changes. Right, right.